We did the first ever real world test of Apple's emergency SOS via satellite on the iPhone 14. But unlike everybody else, we didn't just use the demo mode. We actually went out, we worked with the sheriff's department, and we almost got in trouble to get this to work. And it's absolutely insane. Hey, can they see me? Uh, no. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you're good. Hey, what's up guys? It's Sam Cole here. And my favorite feature, the emergency SOS via satellite is finally out. Apple just dropped it moments ago. So I came out here to the middle of a field to show you guys how it works. Um, and then we're gonna try something a bit more adventurous. Well, let's try the demo first. Okay, so I've got my iPhone 14 Pro here, but this also works on the iPhone 14. Just be on iOS 16.1, go to emergency SOS, and you've got this new feature down at the bottom. Try the demo and see what happens. And it shows us that a new button will appear we're going to answer some questions about the nature of the emergency. And then finally, it shows us the actual UI, which apparently looks super cool. So here we go. We're going into the satellite mode really quick. And it, it lets you know this is just a demo. This is not a real emergency. Um, it's already, whoa, that's so cool. It's found a satellite above us. So track the satellite. Keep pointing at it. It can take a few minutes. Okay, so we've actually connected to a satellite, you can see. And it throws us into the UI sending the message of what it would look like in an actual emergency. So that's a demo. When you're done, you just hit end, um, and there you go. All right, you've turned your cell service back on. The satellite icon disappeared. But that was just a demo. Uh, I have spent the last month or two looking for some areas near me that don't have any cell service because that's the only place that this actually works is when, like in the US, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile do not have any coverage. So I found a place and I wanna see if we can test this out for science and see how it actually works in the real world. So let's do it. Bro, it is so cold. It's too cold. Do a jump, do a trick. Wow. All right, first we're gonna go to the, uh, the sheriff's office because we would like to have a combo. First, see, we're being responsible. Look, Dent County Sheriff's Department. We're going there right now. Um, the journey begins. Magic, get this feature to work. Wish us luck. Do you ever know where the sheriff's office would be at? It's gonna be in the basement. You'll have to this way. Yeah, left and uh, around the back to the stairs. And again, is this the sheriff's office? It yes. sure is. There's this new feature that came out on the iPhone today called it's emergency SOS via satellite. Do you guys have a phone number where I could call you and be like, hey, we're about to test this thing? Like, if you you can just call the sheriff's office here, test it right now. They want to go test this feature out. They're looking for places to self. Yeah, it's basically oh. it only active. So if you head out 19 North to Short Bay, sure. you still get shell phone service. Okay. Sure. That would be so amazing. Thank you guys, by the way. We really, really appreciate it. It's kind of a weird request. But I would definitely try 4380. 4380 okay. is a road that's like no man's land. Okay. That's what we want to hear. Because that's like literally what this is designed for. If it actually works from there. Impressive. Impressive. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. We will give that a go. Bro. <laughs> that was so that was, that was so, so helpful. He literally awesome. showed us the dead zone to go to where no one hears anything. <laughs> okay, this is also to all the people that were gonna watch this and be like, hey, you guys are wasting resources, your pieces of <laughs> Listen, we know we don't want first responders are stretched, like we're not gonna be those dudes. This we have like full exciting. permission to do this. This is exciting. Let's yeah. go, let's, let's go. go, let's go. <laughs> Uh, do you know how to read maps, though? Weast? Did you say Weast? I think you said Weast, yeah. 2300. Where's 2300? Ooh, there's a conservation area. What does the dots mean? What do they mean? What do the numbers mean, Mason? <laughs> the numbers <laughs> what do they mean? Put it in! I don't understand! We've got the instructions. Let's back out of here. And, and test this feature. So we're in the car now and we're about halfway to the road that the sheriff said was a dead zone. And we were fully planning to go the whole distance until like mid conversation out of the blue when my friend was actually recording, I noticed something on my phone. Wait, I see the satellite icon. Bro, I, I just saw the satellite icon on my phone. Back there, dude. I mean, do you want to turn around? We're not there yet, but do you want we're to turn around? We're not there yet, but I saw it. Satellite. Do you see? Do you see I this? Do, I see it. I so yeah, it shows you. That's really interesting. I didn't actually know it shows you like when it's available. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put on park. 
Okay, so you can zoom in. You can see it shows the satellite. So let's really quickly try to get it to call. So the way you do this unironically is by dialing 911. Now, obviously, if this connects, we already talked to the dispatch. And they said that we could figure this out. So it's taking a while. The option is supposed to pop up. Here we go. It popped up. No connection. Try emergency text via satellite. Oh, so, okay. What happened there is the satellite icon just went away. We must be in an area where there's like a sliver of cell service. We're like right on the precipice. I bet if we just go a little bit further down this hill. Here, it's back. Let's try again. Get a good zoom on here. So you dial 911. We're going to call right here. So it obviously tries to ping cellular at first when it realizes there is no cellular. I noticed it did that last time. It's going to pop up with the auction. So emergency text via satellite. Here we go. So this is the actual interface that you see. Now, this is not the demo. Report emergency. Um, car or vehicle issue, sickness or injury. What's like the least intense one? I, car. Yeah, car. Who needs help? Let's just say me. Uh, we'll say... We'll skip it actually. But if you describe what happened, testing this feature. And you can see we still have the satellite up top. So this is fully gonna happen over satellite. Okay, so here's the interface. It says poor connection. Uh, turn left to stay connected. Follow me if you can. Okay, so this is actually sending the text. Bro, this is insane. This is actually with no cell service sending this up to the sky you can see even the slightest movement does that so these satellites up above are moving at 15,000 miles an hour the ability that without an antenna the phone can connect is i don't know like nobody else has done this in the market and it says we've reached the emergency relay center i'm reviewing the information you provided please keep your answers brief we are just testing the feature actually really interesting is that a couple things just happened number one there's a character limit you can only send 160 characters because these messages are actually pretty big um if you tap on this it gives you actually a larger interface for this and you can see it's actually actively transmitting in real time there and back so like again just the slightest turn right here we're not connected anymore but you can see it moves a little bit because obviously the, the earth is spinning so we gotta go back. Okay, so right here I just sent that we were testing the feature. Um, we have to keep turning to stay connected to send and receive. And it sent the message. Like these are gray bubbles. This is actually distinct from the blue for iMessage or green for SMS with Android. Okay, so right away message received. Thank you. So they're not going to contact anybody. That interface is just so cool. I can't get over like, of course when Apple does this feature, it's a really well done UI that yeah, I don't know, man. This is incredible. Yeah, we were just um. There's a new, there's a new feature that came out for the iPhone. We, we were just filming something for our YouTube video. Something else really interesting right now that I'm noticing is that you can actually use your phone still. Um, I guess you could play music while connected to satellite connectivity. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't know that you could do that, and the interface stays here. It's actually like a a banner that consistently goes up. It'll show you when you're connected. And I mean, for right now, it is only in, I believe, the US and Canada. It's expanding to places like the UK, Germany next month, and then obviously slowly over time, it's gonna go globally. So they obviously noted this is for emergency only because they don't want people like wasting the resources because satellites can get taxed. Um, so what I'm gonna do is end the session as soon as that text is sent all right so let's end our session right here it says are you sure you want to end this session you'll be disconnected from emergency services okay and we're out but you can see like we still don't have cell service that's actually dude like having that peace of mind it's getting loud let's walk up the hill <laughs> i gotta be honest man there was a I, I think there was a time i was driving through california like near joshua tree and i didn't have any service and i i was like if we break down, like, I don't know what to do. We, we didn't see cars in like 20, 30 minutes. And like, just being able to do that from the phone you have, man, that's pretty nuts. Listen, I've heard a lot of you say, you're never gonna use this. There's no point. Why are you excited? And the reason I'm excited is because I've been in bad situations at 3 a.m. on the side of the road. And the only thing you want is like a glimmer of hope. 
and this is that feature. And the fact that Apple didn't restrict it to the pros, like they put it on everything. I like, I can't wait for this to hopefully come to the watch one day. I mean, you know, they're thinking about it, right? You know, they're going to add this to more stuff. I don't want to say that this is, you know, going to be the building block for like an Apple iPhone cell service powered by satellites. But I got to be honest, that, that experience is pretty good uh, for this being a day one feature. They I'm blown away. I, we actually contacted a relay center. The text messages sent way quicker than the 15 seconds they quoted. We should just drive so I can collect myself. That was crazy, man. I, what are you, what are you, were you like? That was, I did not expect it to be that good. No, like it worked and it, it would tell you every time you disconnected from the satellite. It was really responsive, really, really responsive too. Bro, that's just crazy. Which was the craziest part. I expected it to be like five minutes in between text messages or something. Yeah. Like. All right, so there you guys have it. That is your first look at emergency SOS via satellite on the iPhone 14. I genuinely have no doubt that if we continued the interaction, that emergency services would have not only been able to locate us but get us help really quickly in an area where there legitimately was not cell service it's wildly impressive and it's everything i hoped it would be so i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see a similar video with the same energy check out my apple watch ultra durability test that was super fun as well all right guys thanks for watching i'll catch you in my next video peace i did this for you guys it is below freezing and I, I love you guys. So smash that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. <laughs>